Proposals can also be used to offer your client a custom package or quote. If everything looks good and they're ready to move forward, your client can sign a contract and pay the invoice immediately after the proposal. As an example, let's look at this custom package proposal for a catering business. Even though the proposal details will vary from client to client, we'll start with a base template that outlines the basic structure of the quote as a starting point. A custom proposal still uses a package element, but it's simply a placeholder. For now, we'll connect a package for a typical evening event. Feel free to include a lot of detail in this package. It's always easier to delete a line item than to add one in later on. For quotes, we like to pre-select the package and remove the select button altogether. This means that the quote will be automatically added to the client's invoice when they submit the proposal. And by removing the select button, it gets rid of the option for the client to unselect a pre-selected package. Finally, if you're looking for package details to be laid out for your client, we like to use the smart field, package item names and amounts. This smart field will display information in a table that's more appropriate for a quote if you want things itemized out. If you'd like, you can add instructional text about the next steps underneath the package. The main thing to convey here is that your client should email you directly if they would like to see any changes. That means they should only submit the proposal if they are agreeing to it as is. Otherwise, they'll be directed to a contract that they aren't ready to sign and the proposal itself will lock. After the content is in place, head to the Form Settings tab. Here, you can include the contract and invoice if you would like. If you are offering multiple packages, like the client's main custom quote, plus additional add-ons, be sure to allow client to select multiple packages by toggling this option. When it's time to create a custom quote for your client, head to their project and make a copy of the base template inside. When you click Edit, you'll be taken to the Form Editor to make changes, only this time you're working on the copy for this particular client instead of the base template. Inside your placeholder package element, you can fine-tune the details of the package by clicking on the element and then selecting Edit Package in the side panel. Click the drop-down arrow next to any line item that you would like to customize and select Edit. From here, you can adjust the line item name, description, quantity, and price of that line item. When you're finished, click Save Item. Any changes you make here will only impact this package on this proposal in this project only. That's why there's no need to create a new template for every single client. After you're done customizing the details, click Apply to save those changes to the proposal. Because we used a package smart field, everything updated automatically on the proposal as well. Once you're finished with all of your customizations, click the Save drop-down in the upper right corner to save and close the proposal and return to the project. It's now ready to send out.